Hello guys, how you doing? Yes, lots of colors. Eee! Okay, um, what are we doing today? Yeah, today another pick a card and it's going to be who is interested in you. So that could be triggering, we know the deal. So we do two parts and then we're going to develop as we know. Okay, so let's go. One, two. One, two. Part number one, who is interested in you? The High Priestess, the Five of Pentacles and the Six of Cups. Well, 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 very clear. Um, of course, you know who that person is because a different reason, because you are a high priestess, Murphy man as a matter. You have that sixth sense, that intuition that comes from the heart and soul, um, you know. And uh, also, you maybe had many lifetime behind. You have a, you're an old soul in a young body. So you know, and you know, like, you know. So not, not going to be a big surprise who's interesting in you. I'd warn you straight away because you also have the knowing here, the five of pentacles, and I think you both do. You both connect a certain level. You, you have that je ne sais quoi, as we say in French, and then you absolutely appreciate that there is something here. Even though the situation doesn't look good, even though that person might be with someone else, it can be any kind of context. It's a general reading afterwards. After all... <laughs> afterwards no uh, and then um that knowing is very profound okay and also boom bada boom number six is love cups of which you see it's a lot of love too but it also says that it's a romantic love but you already know that person or maybe you were together at some point mm, mm, mm. so who is interesting in you is someone that you already know you already feel maybe you you know, vice versa, you feel the same about that person. There is a question mark. There is something. Yeah, I just kind of feel that you like me and you know that I like you too kind of story. All right. So, boom, bada, boom. Uh, we have a love story, but also there is decision to make. We are on a, you know, crossroad here. Number five, we know. You turn right to left. What are we going to do? Are we going to go back together? Are we going to do this? Are we going to actually get to num gear number two or we're going to stay on gear number one and nothing happened what are we going to do there is a knowing and something is cooking and you already know all right so i'm not telling you something you don't know i'm just making you maybe pay attention to your knowledge because maybe you just like oh, i don't know it just doesn't make sense why do i think that you know i'm validating your intuition mm -hmm. that's what i'm doing today uh no but that's true you know you have the knowing it's not a big news but maybe you didn't dare to believe it maybe you thought oh no it's just in my head uh, it's just in my head it's not only on your head and sometimes we disregard intuition you know intuition is underrated okay that was a very important statement yes it was uh, because the mind judges it judges it judges it why you was, I keep saying your intuition, your sixth sense come from your soul. It's your radar. Like, ooh, ooh, oh, I should turn right. Oh, I should turn left. Oh, I don't feel that person. Oh, something. Mm. You see what I mean? Listen to your own alarm system. I hide behind material things. Here we go. But you know, it can be yourself. You know, working, working, working. Or your person. But you still know. And why do you need to hide? Because there is a knowing, but the timing is not just right now uh, it could be very soon in my opinion um that love uh is gonna turn out for the best because i believe the true feelings and it's no love because you look a certain way it's no love because you earn them under money that is rubbish that is just my god codependency rubbish but you know in your heart when you're in love with somebody it's a no bueno where am i going yeah yeah it's only three <laughs> Okay, hmm? okay, we know, we know. Diversity, I love it. The world would be a boring place if we were all the same. Absolutely. Celebrate your uniqueness, your special and much love. Yeah, be yourself. Well, I mean, who else can you be? You are supposed to uh, be that piece of the puzzle and you were created, yes, by mom and dad, we know that, but by the universe. So you were created because you were needed in this world because you... Uh, bring something very unique and without you the world would be a different place and not better okay so believe in yourself that's for sure but you have the knowing already i'm not telling you something you don't know and i think as well you diversity great number five you turn right you turn left yeah 
you're open to novelty but at the same time the knowing is here and my person is also maybe ready to bring you a gift to bring you something just to say and to say i love you or maybe i'm sorry it could be that as well but you know who's interested in you we see it more like who's interested in you in a romantic way or maybe professionally they want to offer you a contract something but they know your quality they know what you're capable of doing so keep an open mind okay so part number two who's interested in you the star the child the six of wands holy shmoly. so who is interested in you well uh, boom bada boom huh? it's uh is the emperor because we have the child already and not the child because some people think i say the child no <laughs> le chariot in french um anyhow so so yes yeah, they're coming to talk to you very very soon they're on their way almost they want to knock at your door and say hello i'm here exactly and they've been following you for a while maybe they've been watching you for a while because you are the star because you shiny bright you show the part so you also had to learn to balance your emotion but them as well or that person as well because yeah being with a star is like damn superstar how am i going to be with a superstar i don't know it's a little bit like i like to say a grand angela roberts in notting hill she's a movie star the hollywood movie star and you think well i'm just you know, I have a bookshop and I don't know, how can I be in your life with two different worlds? It doesn't matter because you have the love and the love is right there. So number six, again, wants a lot of fire, a lot of passion, leaving something we already know, someone we already know because it's just simply not working and redefine the I am and just move towards you, choose love. You see, it's very clear here. There's no fluffing around. I love it. <laughs> my kind of thing and um and the thing is there is no fluffing around because how many stars do you do you have in your life you know that's the thing you can may have many stars in the sky but there's only one that you want to follow oh that was nice yes it was uh but you see what i mean mm -hmm. it's very clear and when you have a child you have an emperor in the making so they see already they see you as the emperor's energy my female doesn't matter beautiful so is someone in my opinion that kind of like is in your uh, air, obviously is in your is your energy field, of course, but you really have them in mind because they're becoming an emperor for you, for themselves first, but for you. And I think they, they know they have to make a decision. You also maybe had to work on yourself as well. You maybe have had some you know, residue from someone else and then redefine the I am and then choose love also choosing self-love first you have to love yourself before you can love someone else I keep saying that and then boom i think you know uh, maybe there could be also someone that is in the public eye and maybe everything could be reversed the, you are the, the one thinking how can i be with someone whoa hold on a second you just whoa hi why how because you might not believe that a star would be interested in you but the star also could be rushing towards you because they recognize you for a long time you see it can be reversed too mm, you know work with it <laughs> work it okay mm -hmm. you don't know interesting interest interesting i regret lying to you how many times do we have this card it's just amazing yeah someone had to obviously leave maybe someone else in order to really find who i am and then moving towards you so maybe someone you met when they were still with somebody did they forget to tell you? Mm, how funny. Mm, selective memory. Mm, fascinating, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Well, even they come like that fast, it's very strong. If they come really kind of like I'm motivated, I want to talk to you, you are my star. Yeah, you're the star, so what? Mm -hmm. You can shine uh, for someone else as well. You might be not the easiest to deal with because why would you trust them again they lied to you and they were still with someone else or they were some doing some funny business whatever they were doing they will have to really level it up mm, mm, mm. and that is i mean very personal to you guys you know when do you trust trust when do you trust how do you be trust someone who who has been betraying you how many chances do you give personally i give an, one chance and then that's it <laughs> i mean what another chance that's it 
<clears throat> you know, might, you know. A precious gift. Here we go. Friendship, family, and love. A precious gift. Do not lose sight of what is most important. Da da da. Yeah. Did they lose sight of what is really truly important and betray you and lie to you? Well, it's their decision. They could have chosen some other poss possibility, but they chose to lie. They chose to lie. Choose to lie. I can't speak English. Um. You know, do you have the same values? Maybe not. And that's okay. You don't have to all be the same. I mean, as we were saying earlier on, diversity on the pile number one. We're all different. No problem at all. Oh my God, thank God for that. But there's some values and principles that you do not mess with. You do not betray. You don't lie. Or if you do, you apologize. Or if you've done something a bit like, uh, just say the truth. Just say it don't because when you lie it's like you send a message like oh i lied to you because you're too stupid to find out or to realize is that the message no i'm sorry you think i'm stupid enough not to know what you're doing <laughs> hello <laughs> mm -mm. yeah that the message is send you when they lie to you oh you're too stupid you're not going to find out anyway oh i'm so you know all by omission but ha, ha, what is omission here omission Really? Does it really exist? They knew what they were doing. They chose not to say, in my opinion. But on this beautiful note, <laughs> have a beautiful day and I'll see you tomorrow. Mwah, ciao.